Shamai GTA chums, the Anus Jubilee is on discount this week, and I can tell you it's the best Anus that's on discount this week. It's got Imanitek just like the Deity, but it's better in every way. Well, maybe not every way, uh, but um, I'm going to show you what you get for your money, and I, as you can see, I got the discount eight six six thousand dollars, but um, you might be paying just over a million, I think one point one five five million for it if you wanted to purchase it. But I'm not going to buy a second one of these. I've already got one, so I'm going to customize this to the hilt to show you what it's all about armor is already upgraded armor plating 150 grand is done and breaks so let's go to the bumpers and see what kind of build we are going to do with this thing um secondary race bumper so i'm probably going to stick with that um because i didn't do a lot with it um stock bumper looks nice i mean you got these lights um do they work i don't think these lights work um these lights don't work i'm pretty sure they don't but i'm going to try these ones maybe rally bumper Rally bumper look good. There's about that, everyone. I like the bumpers with lights. Uh, what can I say? Even if they don't work. Okay, let's get the secondary rally bumper. Secondary. No, let's just go with rally bumper. Okay, we're going to swap it to that rear bumper. All right, all right. We've got a secondary track light bumper. Let's have a look. Speed bumper. Rally bumper, anyone? Um, don't know. Uh, I, I quite like. I quite like what I've done actually because I've got the, the colours going up there but it's probably a bit wrong isn't it um, you probably want uh, a speed bumper secondary bumper we want the stock bumper um, speed bumper what the hell does that even do I don't know it makes a few vents down below um, if I can concentrate for half a second on this customization speed bumper it is that's the one it's also 7400 bargains engine is all done we can't have it do anything else there exhaust um, so we've got the the multiple squares. Let's do something different, perhaps. Oh, and what is that? Triple? Oh, triple is better, isn't it, by far? Oh, yeah. I don't know about that. Triple? Oh, no, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, come on. It is ridiculous, but I'm going to do it. This is what a numpty would do, <laughs> definitely. Um, the bonnet, primary speed hood. I like that speed hood. It's got the vents in there, you see. Um, what of a carbon? No, no. I like the vents there. Those are good. Um, no vents is also good. These big chunky vents are pretty cool. Maybe not in the theme of it though. Um, oh, look at that high performance hood. No, we're not going to go there either. We're going to stick with what we've got actually, because that is the best. It's still. We're going to. I think we're going to do. A uh, oh remote control or jammer. We're going to do um, a more low key kind of build on this one. Um, the reason I've got the RC unit on is because it's an awesome radio control car to go and harass people with. Missile lock on jammer is best if you want to drive it around with yourself inside rather than remote control. Um, but we're not going to do that. I mean, ideally, you can have two, one with each, but I don't really want to. I prefer it as an RC car. Liveries. So we're going to change the liveries. Um, but let's look at what is on offer. That is horrible. The Skull Island is also horrible. I was tempted by that because it's so horrible. Um, because I thought I was going to hate it, the Jubilee, but I don't. I like it. It's great. Um, none is probably best. If I'm honest, a blue camo doesn't work. Maybe this livery. It just looks black from the back. Um, so what am I going to do? Okay, let's go none. Let's get rid of it. Let's clean it up a bit and we'll just go for a clean build because if we're using it as an RC car, you don't want people to know it's an RC car. Um, we've lost our private, num we've got a private number number plate there. Um, fun time. Um, let's put fun time on, right? And let's, uh, let's just go for a white color because then everyone will suspect this car, even though it's a Jubilee and it's obviously isn't. This car, stupid people will think this car is uh, an NPC um, because they won't see anybody in it. Proximity mine, you need that slick. Um, you don't, you do need that actually. For if people are chasing you when you're an RC car, it's handy to dump it um, because people can blow it up. Primary color, right? So, I mean, matte will make it obviously look badass. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I am tempted by matte. You know, it's wrong. I don't want to do a white one. But I want to, you want to blend in, so let's go for classic colours. If you want to blend in with your surroundings, maybe a cream colour. You know, I've not done a cream build. P 
people will be like, what's that white car following me? Nobody has white cars. The blacked out windows kind of give it away. I mean, you could, this looks awesome in orange. Look at that. That looks phenomenal. Oh, no, I am tempted. I am mega tempted. Oh, but I want to make it low key. Uh, but that looks great. Does it not? Oh, white is boring. White is tr truly boring. But we're not going to do the orange. I'm going to stamp on that. I'm going to stamp on that um, thought. Bleached brown actually looks pretty damn good. I'm tempted by that. This Amani tech though, it sticks out. This armor sticks out, doesn't it? That's a problem. Not frost white, ice white, cream, I think. Oh, when you it colours up funny. Oh, what is that all about? Oh, I remember my chum Sharkar said something like that about it colouring up. I see what he means now. Whereas if you put, pick a darker colour, yeah, it also colours up. It's not as obvious. Oh no. Um I'm gonna pick cream anyway, that's what my initial thought was. Um, let's have a look. Secondary colour. Let's just have a look at what... Do we have anything secondary on here? I don't think so. Um, let's not bother with anything good. What, what, what have we got as our secondary anyway? Um, nothing apparently. Um, black steel, so we'll leave it as that. Um, crew emblem goes on the side. Um, skirts. We have some aftermarket skirts. I think those are pretty cool. Um, I think those are the best ones. They kind of chub out. They kind of chub out, so I'm not sure. Maybe I want to go for something more discreet, actually, now that I think about it. I don't want to pay a load of money for it, for Rockstar, either just for a red stripe. Or maybe I should. Carbon, red stripe. It's the only indication that um, that it's a, a, not an NPC car. <laughs> Everyone knows it's not an NPC car. I'm going to pick that. It's more discreet. Spoiler alert. Um, yeah, secondary spoiler or carbon. I like the carbon. We're going to stick with that. Um, stock spoiler. You lose your traction, so you need to put a spoiler on it. Um, suspension. Actually, this was made for an off-road as, as an off-roader. But if we put competition suspension on, I assume we're going to be driving around in the city. Shark car. Check this well out. I've put competition suspension on an off-road car. I mean, it's not really an off-road vehicle, so I've done the, the off-road test. Check out my video on that. And it didn't do very well. Well, it actually did very well on the uphill, but it did struggle in certain places. Anyway, you need to check out the video. And um, wheel type, I like the tyres being off-road, and I think that really works. Um, so for that reason, I'm not going to change it. Um, windows, I think we need to keep them limo, even though it's not. It's an NPC. NPC cars don't really have those, but you can you can see there's no driver in then <laughs> if if it's not got limo. Anyway, that is it, I think. I do believe that is it. I do believe that's complete. Um, we could look at some more wheels, but I'm not going to. We're just going to have a drive around in it. Let's see what we think. I'm going to show you a little, a few of the factors to why I like this car. Ooh, actually, maybe the anus doodah is faster. Look at that. That's pretty good handling for uh, an SUV. So that is very nice for a start. And if we rotate our mouse, we can put a pistol on. We can get, um, I mean, you could use it for blowing up uh, Mark II oppressors, get your sticky bombs, for example. Um, but machine gun is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you why it's great as, do I need to do it now? Yeah, I think I probably do. There we go. See, first time kill. It's great for trolling people because you kill them first time. I think it's even better than the, um, the mill spec because I, I I think the mill spec did struggle a bit more than I expected. Oh, hang on. Let's get back a bit. See how long it takes to blow a car up. Shouldn't take long. There we go. And those mines as well. We need to look at those. I've done this in every video this week. Oh, who cares, eh? Who cares, eh? But we're going to do it again. Just in case you didn't see all the other videos that I've released. Why have I done so many videos? I've not had time for this. But I'm st Okay, there's the mines. You see them flashing in the road? So if we try and take this right-hand turn... We're not, we're not taking the right hand turn and we're off. So that's why if someone's following you, you need the mines. 130 grand for those, they're a bargain. Bargain, tell me. You, it's going to be a lifesaver. Because when you're in RC mode, um, you're going to see it from the internals. Oh, internals. So this is the worst bit about the car. The internal is very 2013. It's stock completely. They save money on this. So that is a terrible bit about this car. 
Uh, but for me, I don't care. I look, I use outside view, and if I'm internal I'm in RC mode, you kind of don't notice, to be quite honest. I'll, maybe I'll show you the RC mode, just as a quickie. Look at these guys. Bulletproof glass as well. It takes about 15 shots to shatter those windows. Um, so that is pretty excellent. And... I'll show you, I might do an RC mode video later on this week. I've got some stock videos, but maybe I'll do another, just to show you how good it is. Because I think that needs really repeating. I mean, you could buy it as a standard car, right, as your first Imani Tech car. And in the future, when you get a better Imani Tech car, i.e. the Buffalo STX, that's uh, probably the best value and best performance-wise, four-door as well just like this, four door, but you could then turn it into an RC car in the future when you fancy just messing around, but when you're trying to get your jobs done, I'd say get the Buffalo, uh, but you could use, use, use this for getting your jobs done as well, I'm not sure about those exhausts, that triple exhaust to me looks horrible, <laughs> I've just realised, um, yeah, anyway we want to do RC mode, this is the important bit kind of, because it's fun basically, it's fun, it's fun right, so if I go to M, Inventory and we go. Where are we? Inventory, uh, remote control vehicles, RC personal vehicle. That's how you do it. It's like launching the, the mini tank. Now, if you look, if I look behind me, right, I've disappeared off the map. So it's not like anyone can kill you. They can't rock up to you and kill you. But they, if they blow up the car, obviously, then you disappear. But look at this guy. The police are trying to kill me, but they can't. And you see, I can't, I can't look as well. Um, so I can't move the, ca I can't pan the camera angle. I'm just set in one position. So that's why you don't kind of notice internals in RC mode. You can drop your mind. So let's say that you've got somebody chasing after you who's um, going to blow you up, like a tank or something. I don't know. Um, an APC, APC is a good example. So no, not like that. Come on, it's more difficult driving in first person mode. But just take the corner, yeah. Take the corner and hope they they don't follow you. Take a, just keep doing it. Accelerate in a straight line. Take the corner. Drop the mines. Eventually they'll hit them. They'll hit one or more of the mines, and you'll be away. And they can't see you on the map as well. When you're in RC mode, you are not on the map, right? So um, it's like exactly like the tank, you know, the mini tank, and the R RC bandito. They can't see you. So you just drive around, and people don't, people still don't know what is going on. Even level 100 players, who I assume have been playing quite a while, some of them don't seem to know what's going on still. I don't get it. Not enough people do this. I've not had somebody attack me in an RC mode before. So, yeah. The other thing you can do as well, you, see, you hear that? If you press spacebar, as in handbrake, because sometimes you want to do it, you need to use the handbrake anyway. Look at this guy trying to shoot me, what a fool. Then you want to um, you, you want to press the handbrake. If you hold the handbrake, the bomb will go off. So it's automatically got a bomb on. Don't <laughs> you could do that, right? So you rock up to the police, you you blow it up, and that's your car gone. It will cost you 20 grand every time you do that. It's fun, you know. It's good. do it for the lols, but just bear in mind it'll cost a shed load of money. The best way to come out of RC mode if you've finished having your fun. Um, I mean, I assume if I come out of it, it's just going to carry on travelling and smash into a load of cars. So, let's say I've had enough, um, then just press the exit car button and that's it, done. You are out of the RC Bandito car. But you still got your wanted level, so the police will come and get you, and then they will blow you to smithereens. So anyway, I hope that's useful for you. For me, it's discount of the week. It was discount of the week last time it's on. It's a mighty fine vehicle. I would buy it again. Um, I recommend you to buy it, but obviously if you have an Imani Tech vehicle and you want to upgrade that to put the Missile Jammer on, purchase the Missile Jammer because you, all your Imani Tech is on special discount this week. So you want to do that as a priority before you buy this vehicle for sure. But uh, just grind K.O. Perico, one time K.O. Perico, uh, that's going to take you an hour and you can purchase this car outright. So just do it. <laughs> Anyway, I've, I've rambled on enough about this car because I think it's awesome. But thank you very much for watching. Drop your comments in. Tell me what you think of this vehicle, this awesome vehicle. What you think of my build as well. I want to know. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and weekend.